Ciao, Old Smelders here, and this is my first tutorial for 2020. Today I will show you a couple of use cases for video lightbox element. So there is a new feature Salient 11 brings us in again, so we will look at them as well. So to do that, let's head to our dashboard so I can show you how. So in the dashboard, I will click and create a new page and let's call it video and save draft and let's switch to our backend editor i will add new element and the element we are looking at today is video lightbox so let's start with the first and the basic play button also we need to copy the url for our video and let's save changes and click preview and this is how the basic play button will look like. So we're not going to stick with that. So we will go with a bit more advanced features. So to do that, I will split my row into three columns like that. I will bring this element into the middle column and I will add some couple more uh, elements in this row. So let's start with background image. And I will put position center and center. Let's save changes here. Let's go back. We will add a couple more things. So we need to choose that this will be full width background. And let's give some spacings as well. So from the top, I will give 18%. And from the bottom, I will give 2%. And save changes now. And Let's head to our element and I will choose uh, play button with image. So here we can set color for our uh, button. So I will go with extra color one. And there we can add our image. So I will choose this time. This is transparent PNG image. So I will choose that one. And then, then we can adjust a couple more options here. We can set the size of the image. We can uh, choose which element will kind of zoom in into the hover when we are going over with our mouse. So I will choose to zoom the button. Another option, we have zoom background image. But I will go with this one. So let's save changes and click preview. And this is what I created so far. So as you can see, there is my background image. This is the image for the lightbox element itself and the play button, which I added in. So if I will click on this one, this one just simply will bring up the video. So this is how the lightbox element works. So what we can do here as well to make it even nicer, let's head back to our dashboard and I will add some animation on our background. So I will choose zoom out slowly. So it changes and let's preview now. And as you can see, this is now really nicely zooming out. It makes nice animation for our section where we're using our lightbox, uh, video lightbox. So let's head over to dashboard and create a new row. This time I will choose again background image for it. So we need to start that we will set that full background image. Choose our background image. This time I will choose this image here. And uh, let's put it in left and center position. This is actually where we can position our background image, how it's like appears. And uh, give again some spacing here so i will go with 15 percent on the top and 15 percent on the bottom let's save changes and uh, i will add the element our video light box so i'll choose that and for this element i will uh, choose option play button with text so i will need to add again our url for the video there we have option to choose uh, choose color for our uh, lightbox element. So 
as we have like black background I will go with some lighter color so I will choose extra color too in this case and then we have again couple options for our play button style which we will go over, over them but I need to add the text here so I will just tape in to the moon and back there we can check and choose our text font style so I will go with heading 2 and save changes and let's preview what we created so far so this is what we created so far so we need to make a couple more adjustments here so how we can do that we will go to row settings and there we will choose that we need to uh, move our text alignment to right and text color we will use light color just because we have black background that makes sense here so let's preview now and this is how it looks here so this element as you can see it's animates itself like kind of line is it's pulsing all the time like that so that's quite nice that is why I'm choosing it so what else I can do with this element here let's go over options what we have so we had option to color it button pulls then we have button border it small so let's preview this one how it looks like just to show you so this is how it's gonna look like then another option we have button border at top so this element will look like this but I like better that animated one so I will stick with that one and there is another option where we can tick in the parent row background hover relationship so if we will tick this one in this will animate our background as well so let's preview now I will show you what I mean by that so as I'm going over the my element as you can see the background image as well is slightly zooming in and zooming out so now that makes sense to the moon and back so this is how you can animate nicely as well another effect so for the next case I will add a new row again and uh, this time I will go and set some spacings here so this time I will give 40 pixels from the top and 20 pixels from the background so it changes add new element uh, choose video light box and now I will choose play button with image and mouse follow so we need our URL now I need to choose my preview image so let's go with this image here save changes then again we can choose our image size and then we have a couple options where we can style our mouse indicator so let's save changes and let's look what we created so far so preview And this is how it's gonna look like here so as you can see the play button is following my mouse if I'm going out it just go back to the center and background image as well it slightly zooms in so this is nice nice new feature in salient 11 what we can get we didn't had such option before so let's go over the couple more element stylings what we have so we have another option where we can set solid color for our mouse indicator so let's choose something like that and preview this one so there what we just doing we just styling this kind of play icon here so this will look like this and then another option we have see through contrast so I like this one the best so I will show you what it is so as you can see again our play button but if you will see as we are going over the elements if we have a colorful 
co colorful background. As you can see, it's like changing the color, kind of uh, reversing the color itself, depending on what color background it uses, in dark or light. So it's quite nice feature. So this element is nice if you want to add something so can somebody can play with it a bit in your website. Just remember that this uh, play icon will work only on the desktop because you need the actual cursor. It's not going to do something like that in your phone. So keep that in mind. And uh, let's head over to our dashboard and I will add another element in our background. So uh, just create a new row. Let's choose again our uh, lightbox video element. And the last option we have is nectar button. So simply that's just creates a simple button which we, which you are using all over the, your website. So this one will add that option that you can create a video lightbox element on your button. So let's call this text. Uh, let's call this button as our latest project. Then we can change again our color for the button and we have the option for the background zooming, but this time we're not going to use the background image at all. So I will click save changes. So I will need to add this element into the center. So I want to center my background, uh, my button into the center in the column. So I will do that here and click preview changes. And this is what I created. So as you can see, it's a simple button, but on a click, it will open my video. So all of them are doing the same as you can see, but just different options. So what else I can show you here in this one, if you will switch to kind of our mobile view, as you can see, this one is maybe going over my image here. So in mobile version, if I make it smaller, as you can see, it looks even worse. So how can I fix that one? Click, quickly show you. So I will simply uh, split my row into two columns. I will move this element to this side here. And now I need to go to the responsive option settings and I need to set that I want to split this column in mobile view as well into two parts. So I need to do for the both columns that. And uh, like that, save changes, preview. As you can see here, nothing's changed. But now if I will go to my uh, mobile view. So as you can see, it's breaking now this text into the half of the screen. So in mobile view, it will fit and not going to go over my moon. So this is how we're creating a video lightbox elements. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also go and check my other video tutorials and don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.